Hey guys, it's Teacher Dad. So today I'm going to be talking about a piece of tech that I've got for one of my science classrooms. And uh, this is a wireless microscope camera. And it also has some other applications. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the various things that you're able to do with it. And so pretty exciting. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. So this camera that I'm going to talk about today is the uh, made by a company called Motocam and this is the uh, X2 model and so I'm going to show you what all is in the box and some other features and things that it contains. So first of all in the box is the wireless module. So first of all is the wireless module itself and this is powered through a micro USB port and it also has a threaded screw hole that could be used if you wanted to mount this onto a tripod or something that would hold this attachment. Inside the box we have several other things. First of all is a power adapter and it does come with a couple different power modules depending on where you're located. So I'll be using this here in the United States. Uh, this is just basically a USB powered device. So one of the nice things about this camera is that it can be powered using any traditional USB port. So if you were taking this uh, even out in the field, this could be used completely uh, wirelessly and it generates its own Wi-Fi signal for the device to connect to it. So I'll talk about that in a moment. But you could literally just plug this into the power from a laptop and use that to power the camera. Then you have the lens that attaches to the camera. So uh, we'll go ahead and get that connected. And so this just screws onto the device. Uh, what this does is it allows for adjustment purposes and it does give you some different uh, focal length so that you're able to adjust the focal length once you have this installed. A couple other things in the box. Um, there are two different mounts um, and they're basically just two different diameters of the interior portion of these and it allows you to attach these to various sized microscopes. There's also uh, some calibrating devices if you need those, um, some slides for calibration, and then uh, there's also a size adjustment um, if you needed to modify this for various sizes of lenses. One other thing that's in the box is this device here, and uh, this is interesting little device because what this accomplishes is this allows you to, be, to screw this onto the bottom of the lens itself and now instead of using this attached to a microscope um, you can use it just for viewing things that are kind of very closely magnified and so that's another nice feature about this as well. It's not just used for microscopes but it can be used to show really close-up versions of various things that you might want to look at. So first of all, uh, we'll start off with that since I uh, already started to screw that on. And so this screws on to the lens and then I'll go ahead and get this powered up. And then you can see here, once the device is powered on, um, it will have a little blue indicator light that will begin to blink. This is indicating or telling you that uh, the Wi-Fi signal is being broadcast. So what I'll do here is I'll show you what's happening here. And you can see that once the Wi-Fi signal is uh, displayed here, then you would connect to this. And when you first get this device, you'll have to use the wireless key that comes in the uh, packaging. So there's an app that you must use uh, with this particular camera. The name of the app is Moti Connect. So you download that app onto the various different devices that you want to display the image on. So here I have a couple different things to show you the magnification that's possible with this camera. And then there you can see uh, the head of a match. So you can see that that is fairly well magnified. So there's a penny. and then there's the surface of a cork. So once again, you can see that it is quite magnified even just with this little adapter here. And this screws directly onto the eyepiece mount. 
And then just for the purposes of this video, I have chosen to use just a random slide I pulled out. Uh, this is the ovaries of some flowers. So there you can see uh, what that would look like. And then the ability that you have here, you can even take a, an, like I have a setup here, you can take the iPad and you can plug that into a projector. So now it's connected to a Wi-Fi network and then you're able to project the image that this is displaying onto a projector. So that's sometimes what I do. There is also a desktop app that's available for both Mac and Windows devices. So now I'll move up to uh, the 100 power. And then depending on the amount of light that's being let in using the diaphragm of the microscope, sometimes you do have to play with this a little bit when you go to up to the 400 power and I've had varying degrees of success here. And then again, the quality of how this is working all together is going to depend uh, on several factors, the quality of your microscope and uh, the lenses themselves, making sure that everything is, is clean, making sure there's sufficient light being able to, to pass through. Uh, this, I believe, runs, I think it costs around uh, $300, somewhere in that range. And uh, I'll put a link for that down in the description if you're interested in seeing that camera um, and the information for Modicam. They do have a couple different models that are also available. And so, again, you can see that information down in the description. So if you have any questions or comments about this device, please sure, be sure to leave those down below as well. Um, if you like this video and want to see more like it, click that subscribe button up here. Uh, if you want to see the last video, you can click over here. Um, or if you want to see what YouTube thinks you ought to watch next, you can click down here. And so thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.